before you watch the video, watch this little clip right here that Tim Jones is freestyling. You know who wrote this. Cam, Matt Speed. You know the deal. Jimmy, cut it out. You're just doing this because you got a new album coming out. Baby, hoping my case. Cause they found me in the whip dog smoking on eighth. You know the trunk had coke in the eighth. Last time, man, they broke in my place. Found the stash and they broke in the safe. Found guns, dope, smoke in the safe. Now I'm back in the system. More coke in my cake. What's going on? This is Legend Number All About the Kicks. Subscribe to the channel. Put a like on the button. You feel me? Um, we still, this is part two to the Jim Jones shit, man. See, Jimmy. He's doing this shit for promotion on his new album. Mass B's minding his business. Free Mass B. He should be getting out in the next two years. Um, it, it is what it is. Jim Jones, listen, man. Let me tell you something. You would not be nowhere if it wasn't for Mace and Cam. That's number one. Okay? You've been having Ghost Riders for years. Now, we all can rat you out and name all your ghost riders, but we don't need to do all that shit. All right, Jim Jones, you got your ass whooped a lot of times. I'll give you credit. You got your ass whooped at the worker. We can't left you there by yourself. You jumped on the top of the car trying to get away. Cam left you. Okay? Be honest with you, a lot of y'all dipset niggas, y'all pr pretty niggas. I'm not calling Cam a punk. I'm not calling Jim a punk because I can I, I I can say about Cam. Cam ain't no punk, but Cam was doing a little snitching too. When he got shot in Cleveland, he said that they you know they put up the rock sign, so Jay could have went to jail or Jay could have got caught for doing some bullshit. So that was like a little bit snitching. But what made Dipset fall apart was with. Cam was going through some shit with his mom. She was almost died. I think she had a Caesar or she had a, a stroke or something. And he disappeared. They couldn't get in hold of him. They couldn't get in contact with him. Or none of that shit. But Jim Jones went on Rap City, him and Santana, with G Unit was beefing at the time. With Cam called in Hot 97 at the Angie Martinez radio station. And he was like, Curtis! And that shit was the funniest shit in history. At the time, Jim Jones was on fire. Jim Jones was feeling himself. He had his Ghost Riders. He had, he had all them niggas. He had Freaky Zeke. He had motherfucking Stack Bonyos. He had motherfucking Matt Speed writing for him. Cam was writing for him. He had everybody. He had the whole fucking team. But Jim was feeling himself. And like I said, when Cam left and disappeared, Jim Jones started doing some foo-foo shit. You've been friends with Cam for over 20-some years before all that shit happened. And you just going to go on, on, on Rap City with G-Unit? That was a disrespect to Cam. Smacked in the face. You a Harlem nigga. You know better. You know better. Alright? You doing this shit to promote your new album. For what? If you got a good music, it's going to do good. You don't need to try to put Mass B under the bus. One minute, you forgave him, but you won't fuck with his music. You won't fuck with him no more. You got mad Mass B songs. You hear Mass B on the radio talk about, yo, Jim, I want my songs. I want my fucking songs back. I want my stack bundle songs too. No. Max B trying to get out, live his life, take care of his kids. Put another album out. A lot of y'all niggas stole the Max B wave. Drake, Kanye, a lot of niggas. So, y'all motherfuckers, you don't understand. In my city, it's three people you cannot talk shit about. That's Tupac. I seen the niggas talk mad shit about Tupac on the basketball court a couple years ago. Talk about, oh, Tupac was gay. Not gay, but like he got raped in jail. That's why he was trying to get out. That's why he wanted to sign the death row. No. My man beat the shit out that nigga. Because when you're a pop fan, you know that shit didn't happen. You, you, you fucking putting a bad name in the fucking Tupac mouth. And we ain't having it. Got his ass stunk. Alright? That's number one. Mass B is number two. In my city, you fucking say Mass B. Anything about Mass B, your ass is done. 
I seen that happen too. And LL Cool J. Another nigga you can't talk shit about. Now we got rid of them. We talk about the three legends. But let's get back to the story. So Jim Jones was filming himself in 2006. When Jay-Z came out with the King Kong album. Sold 900,000 copies. Jim Jones went gold. Almost, the album's platinum now. But he was at gold at the time. Alright. Ballin' was the hottest song out in 2006. The New York Giants was using that song the whole year and they won the champion. They won the Super Bowl in 2007 on that song. Jim Jones was feeling himself. Beefing with Jay-Z. Beefing with everybody. Talking shit about Cam. Santana left Cam and started hanging out more with Jim Jones. Dipset had a, 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 a mark in the game. Ain't nobody could take it away. Ain't nobody could take it away. But them niggas, a lot of them niggas got their ass whooped. Jim Jones got his ass whooped, but you gotta understand, I give Jim Jones his respect. He never hid in the house. He always came out and he he faced his shit like a man. But don't forget about the rucker. Where your ass was niggas chasing your ass, you got on top of that car. To fight them niggas off with the stick, my nigga. Go on YouTube and type it up. Jim Jones at the rucker. Cam was there too. Cam left you. Cam gave a different story, but Cam left your ass. Cam said, fuck that shit. 30 to 40 niggas, I'm not getting my ass whooped. Jim Jones, good luck. <laughs> so I think Jim filled up a, a type of way. You had an army. What I mean an army, you had mass peace, stop bundles. You, you you had JR. You had you had a SWAT. Only thing you had to do was sit back and just be a CEO. You didn't have to rap no more. You had you already had three albums out already. Going on your fourth album. You didn't have to do shit no more. You could have put stat bundles out independent on Cops Records. Dipset. A lot of y'all niggas don't know. Kim owns everything. To use the Dipset logo, you gotta pay for it. Hell Rail had to pay for it. J.R. Ryder had to pay it. To get the logo on your album, you had to pay Cam. He didn't, Cam didn't care if you didn't, he didn't care if you used it, but he wanted his money. The group of Dipset is only four people. Jimmy, J.R., Santana, and Cam. The rest of the niggas was on Dipset was like part-time niggas. Hell Rail and all them other niggas. They was just there. Cam didn't hold them niggas back. He let them do what they had to do. But you could use the logo. But you got to pay for it. Jimmy. You had the Bird Gang logo. You know who owns that shit? Niggas. If you type in Google. Jim Jones don't own his own logo. To the Bird Gang. Mass B don't own it neither. Stat Bonos don't own it neither. You know who owned the trademark to that shit? Cam. Cam bought the shit. Jim so for so much being so lazy, he forgot to trademark his own fucking label. Cam owned that shit. Do we think Cam is, is grimy for that shit? But he called and talked to Jimmy. He said, Jimmy, what are you doing with the trademark? Are you are you gonna buy it? What are you gonna do? Jimmy like, ah, yeah, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't know. So Cam said, fuck it, I'm buying it. Cam owned the bird game shit. Google it. Jimmy, you don't even own your own shit. That's why you don't promote your shit no more. Because Cam owned your shit. You remember when Jim Jones two years ago was crying under motherfucking Hot 97 when he was up there with Flump Master Flex? He, don't get me wrong, Jim is a soldier. But you got your ass whooped by a lot of niggas. Because you didn't put nobody on. And that's the worst thing right now for you. You lost your house. You went, you, you, didn't, you couldn't pay the 450, you know, money for the fucking house. You had a nice, beautiful house. You lost the house. I mean, you got another house, but I'm just saying, how the fuck can you lose and get, get, to, get your house to go foreclosure? You got all this money, right? And I, I believe you got all this money. I know you do. I should see you back in 05, 06, 07 with the belt buckle with the money in there. Where you was on the streets with all the niggas. So I'm not saying you don't got no money. But who let their house go to foreclosure? You know? You could have been the best CEO. And you 
Would, would, would Mass B want to get out his contract? You didn't want to let him out. Mass B would not be in jail right now if you would have let him out his fucking contract. So you make niggas got to feed their family and do stuff they don't post to do. Because your ass want to be selfish. You didn't want Mass B to go somewhere else and shine and go platinum and sell millions of albums because you didn't want to put in the work. You didn't have to do shit. But just put your stamp on Matt B and Stat Bundles. If Stat Bundles was alive right now, the motherfucker would be, he's a legend now. But the nigga would have had at least three to four platinum albums. And Mass B would have been the same as Drake. Mass B would have been Drake right now. He is Drake, but I'm just saying. He would have been Drake. Five, six, seven, eight platinum albums. Fucking doing arenas, concerts, big ones. You ruined that shit for them niggas. You ruined that shit for them, dude. You should have let Mass B out his contract and none of that shit would have happened. He would not been in that situation. But now you want to put more dirt on the, on, on, on the shit. Jim Jones, you a traitor, a crooked, a scam artist, and it's sad. I'm so disappointed in you. And I, I, I fuck with you. But I lost a lot of respect for you. For you just to, to come out your mouth and try to diss Mass B and all that shit. It's sad, B. Subscribe to the channel. Let you know all about the kicks. Jersey Deep! Subscribe to his channel. Cool Zone just hit a thousand subscribers. Subscribe to his channel. And don't forget to subscribe to let you know we're all about the kicks. And them dudes who don't got no jobs out here. Get a life. Subscribe to the channel. Let you know all about the kicks. Be out. Peace.